It's a top secret. Okay. Ooh, we've been in the vault a lot lately, and there's gonna be a lot of boards coming out soon. Yeah, we got a lot going on. Um, so top secret, I'm gonna show this little time lapse. Um, do you wanna talk about what this is? This is a part that you just got. Oh, this is the VL53 L1X to VL53 L4CD conversion. Um, so, you know, ST's been coming out with a lot more variants of their really popular time of flight boards. Uh, sensors and so uh, because it's pin compatible and we got uh, a reel of the VL 53 L C which is like a very short range time of flight sensor um, I just this is what it looks like when I hot air a part off and hot air another part on and it's a great way to Here's test time lapse. <laughs> Man, this one's hot off the press. We just did this right before we came to the office. This is a little tiny LCD. It's so cute. Yeah. What really, is this? This is a very small uh, three-character, seven-segment display. I got some of these adorable samples. Well, there's like one big mama seven-segment, a lot of little dual ones, and this is a uh, triple. So it's um, funny here is I'm driving this directly from pins on the microcontroller. You do see a little bit of ghosting, but there is an app note from Atmel, uh, AVR241, on how to directly drive LCD displays. And, like, you can do it. Um, I mean, you need a lot of pins. Uh, usually you use it have a chip or a special peripheral um, to do this, but I just have it hooked up here to a uh, Cutie Pie Sam D21 and just counting up the numbers. Um, the most fun thing here is it's not what you think where there's like seven segments and three commons. There's actually four commons, six segment pins, and they're like split in half, but um, it does work with a little bit of ghosting, but uh, definitely legible. Hot. And then here's the... Uh... I guess you want to call it first article inspection. Yeah, this is the first article. And one of the things we do is after we have the first board come out, usually I do visual inspection. The person running the line does visual inspection. And then we write G on the back for gold. And this because this is actually something people ask us. They're like, okay, you make testers. But then how do you test the tester? Who watches yeah. the watcher? Um, the gold does. The gold yeah. is how we test the tester. Um, the gold is, you know, visually inspected, personally inspected, and then also... A tester inspected and then we keep that with the tester so that um, when the tester fails or is acting flaky we can check it against the gold to make sure yeah all right and then we have the cutie pie uh, esp32 tester mm. and uh, then the board so we're going to show this earlier what is this this is a cutie pie esp32 uh this is a prototype so i got some backwards text but the final pcbs are going to be showing up in a couple days so i thought i'd get started on the tester and uh, like the other Cutie Pie ESP32 S2 tester, I'm using a Raspberry Pi. And the reason I'm using a Raspberry Pi is one, I can run ESP tool from it, and so it's like really easy to uh, program the chip directly because uh, this is Linux. And the second thing is what I do is um, after I've tested all the GPIO, I test the Wi Fi. And I check the signal strength um, and the MAC address to make sure it's the right device. And that way I know that the antenna got soldered on correctly and all the passive components. So this is pass test and this is ready to go. And then we get the boards in. Coming soon. We have a bunch of uh, hardware coming out, but these should be in the store maybe in a week or two, maybe two weeks, yep. three weeks. And that's top secret for the week. Mm -hmm. Very exciting.